Hey up, I'm Carol Ann and this is part two of Fear Street 1994. If you haven't watched part one, check the link in the description. I'm a huge mess, I'm a huge baby, I'm a big screamer. Let's watch. <laughs> also though, Dina just killed, or oh, just shot a girl trying to kill her mate. It's all kicking off. No, she was hot. <laughs> the bitch seemed normal, lol. The history nerd knows. Oh shit, I love his board. I'm getting goosebumps again. 1950. Harry Rooker. Oh. I've, it's so scary. So many. Fucking hell! If you get blood on it, I'll kill you. The amount of times everybody just says I'll kill you in this Definitely film. Look, I know I always give you shit for like pretending you're someone you're not, but it's it's not really easy for me to you know be like us either. Are you giving me a pass? <laughs> no. Bitch, you were rude. I... I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Say it. Say it. I mean, here we are. We're together for one night and dead people are trying to kill us. None of this is real. It's like typical being a lesbian or being queer. People just be trying to kill us. <laughs> I kind of stand this Sarah though. Men who slaves. Yes, exactly. This is why we, this is why uh, women should never have been slaughtered and accused of witchcraft. What you deserve. <laughs> these don't deserve it. This is these are all ancestors and stuff, but don't mess with people. And then there won't be curses for hundreds of years. I saw the witch. Oh, that just gave me right chills. Fear. Fear. Oh. This is her literal body. No, no, no. Remains. Now she's sending her henchmen after us. Henchmen? As in every one of those sickos on your wall is going to That's too many. Whatever. Let's just do it quickly so we can go. Oh my god, just go now. Get out of town. Oh, kid, don't be the one to get stabbed. She's got a nosebleed again. Oh, now touch the ground and get more visions. Oh, touch, touch a bone. Sam's a witch. She doesn't like it. She do oh, that's the sweetest thing. It didn't work. I feel like Sarah wouldn't. Oh, I'm scared. <sighs> oh, he's not even after. They're after Sam, aren't they? Sam. Oh, fuck. Thank God for Dina. That's another killer. There's three separate killers after them. Scumas didn't care about us. He wanted this. Sam's blood. Ah. Ah, oh, true. She had blood on her shoe. Fine, I know. Still need to cover it. Need to clean it up. Oh, it's fucking awful. Me. Like tonight's been the first time I've felt like myself in months. It's been so long. Bless. I forgot what that what that felt like. Oh Sam, you can be yourself. You make me feel like me. Good. This is cute. 
Sam's mum's a proper bitch, isn't she? Like, I feel like her mum's probably homophobic. It's so... Are they really all going to be doing this? A killer's after you, you know. What if tonight's it for us? Oh, God. That's a way to think about it, though, isn't it? Could be the last chance. I don't think I could, you know. I could not get into a, a, this type of mood while a killer was after me. I mean, maybe I could. <laughs> This is good though, like Sam and Dina are kissing and shit. Hopefully that, oh, Peter's dead anyway. Calm down. Wait, 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 wait. Did you all go to Pound Town? So did you, by yourself. Let's go to the blood. Ah. Honestly, you always need like a nerd. People ever call you that? in a negative way, fuck them. See you on the other side. Oh, you better do. I'm not having you die. <laughs> She's back. I saw her. She was so sexy, but incredible. This is dumb. This doesn't work. I will murder you. You'll be murdered. It'll be fine. Shit, if it doesn't work, it's too much to handle. There's too many of them. No, you're not going in the... You're not going in the bathroom! Shit, the bed! No, the can... No! Where's Sam? Oh, that's a fake Sam, good. Yes, Sam! Yes! Is this gonna work? Are they really gonna? Are they just gonna be charred corpses now? This group of kids are so fucking ingenious. Well, mainly Dina's little brother, who I still can't remember his name. No way. Are they gonna. They're all reforming! This is too much. No way are their bodies gonna reform after being exploded. No, don't be mean. They're coming for her. We put Sam in the hall. We end this. Now you're a monster. I'm being reasonable. We can't run anymore. Yeah, you but can. We'll stop them. Fine. It's not the only way. Are you kidding me? You can't just sacrifice somebody. <sighs> Sam, right. stop. No. I don't want you guys to die. For don't me. be self-sacrificing. You can all survive. No, I'm not having another lesbian die in a horror movie. Not another one. As if they, this is all just being allowed to happen, what the fuck? You brave, brave, brave girl. Help me! Help! Oh, no, what does it all mean? Are they really just, go are they gonna kill her? Please, I'm fucking scared. Sam. You're too brave. There was a survivor who saw the witch. Yes! She died. When? That's the whole point. She survived, but first she died. Oh, she died, then she survived. Oh, we'll do it with her drugs. It's probably the safest way that they can kill her and bring her back. He's trying to bring me back. Oh, shit. If this is also just reminding me of Winona Earp and Nicole dying and getting brought back. Oh, they've gone to the grocery store where Thingy works. Oh, he's been the employee of the mum for months. Oh, bless him. He's a good little worker. Brother, I one takes the edge off. You're gonna feel like you're being fucked by a unicorn. <laughs> At the 
epinephrine, also known as adrenaline. This is what brings her back. This is Jesus. This is such a good idea. I mean, it's it's not. It's scary. It's messed up. But well done. Ah. He's been dreaming about that for ages. I feel like I have another chance with you. And I'm not gonna lose you again. Oh my God. Because you and we are the way out. When this is all over, I am gonna take you on a date. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna eat cheeseburgers and listen to the Pixies. Sounds like a good day. The best night of our goddamn lives. It better happen. But right now, you've got to die. Oh, God. <laughs> it makes so fucking weird. I'm going to bring you back. Oh, Dina, please. I, the way she said it, I believed her, but nobody has any real control over this. She's actually dying as well, like, we have to see her die. Oh, God. Also, the fact that she's got to force them down her girlfriend's throat because, like, Dina's got to force them down Sam's throat because Sam's out of it. Like, it's all really disturbing. It's like she's killing her, but she's not. She's trying to save her. No, don't be sick. Oh, shit. Oh, she's a ha This is really messed up. Oh, no, there's a killer there. Yes! Drug dealer friend. I don't know the names. Fuck, she's dropped the... The medication. I need to die. Oh God. No. 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 Yes. No. Are she gonna drown her? Fucking hell, it's exactly the same as Wynonna. It's not, it's different, but... Fucking hell! Wait, somebody needs to go help the drug dealer one! I'd rather any of the boys die over her. I don't want any of them to die, though. No! No! Oh! The girl, she's so creepy! Guy, please. She's gonna. Woo! Oh yes, I'm glad he had a, a Stanley knife on him. Oh, little kid. I don't. He's. I feel like he's slightly younger, so I, he's like the kid one. Whoa! Having to hold her down though, like having to physically kill her. No! No! She can't die! Oh, you're so fucking strong and brave. She's still fighting even after this. She's already been stabbed. Don't you dare! No, she... No! You sickos. I need some tissue. Oh my god. She was amazing. She was such a good person. I can't. It's so fucked up. I didn't want any of them to die. The way she died as well. Oh. The sickos. I'm fucking fuming. She was fighting so hard to stay alive as well. Fuck, I'm gonna have to play. Oh. 
he kissed her as well. A whole of the fucking bridge. Ah! that a lesbian has just died what the fuck is how can this film do this have they all gone though is a brother okay show me your brother <sighs> josh yeah now get her alive again fuck hurry up she better be back alive we've already lost our drug dealer and the other guy Put it into the outside of a thigh. Put at least one into the outside of a thigh. That's the best place to put it. It gets into your system quicker. I get, you know, you try to do it near a heart. Wake up, Sam. I. If Sam is fully dead, I'm cancelling it. Wake up. Start press. Yeah. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. <laughs> Mia, that was really bad time. My dog started barking. She must have seen another dog on the street. But God, that was bad timing. Sam's alive! What are you doing? Oh, baby. What was all that noise about? Get down, please. Yeah. I'm so happy that she's alive. She fucking made it. Yes. I mean, there's two, there's fucking people dead though. This is bad. You wanna tell me what happened? Oh God, this picking up. sheriff better Sheriff's believe him. Really see anything. So they're just okay. lying. I would too. I fell on some glass. You fell on some glass? Oh, they all yeah, fell on glass. In your shoulder. Yeah, They're all using house. the same yeah, line. Just get back from the dead. Literally. Shock, I guess. The junkies. Kate and Simon? They weren't junkies. No. They were my friends. They were heroes. They were but that's the story this department will go with. Unless you can help me to see it differently. They tried telling you earlier and you laughed in the face, you dick. Who's been supporting his family alone since he was 15? Both to come They were both really good kids. Quick cash of drugs. Fits the narrative, right? No, fucking dirty police, man. Nice and neat. You came here for my help. You should have listened to you, I'm sorry. You should have. There'd be less dead children by now. Then that makes you a bad guy too, little man. What did the... Why is the janitor still even there? It were apparently spray painting. It wasn't him though, surely. I owe you. Oh. What's that <clears throat> card say? So I guess i see you tomorrow. Say yeah. No. What the fuck, Sam? See you tonight. Oh! <laughs> yes! Good! I'm so happy! Your, her, you, Mum, can shut your mouth and stay out of a business. Ah, oh, they're gonna see each other later. They're back on. They are gonna be girlfriends. They are girlfriends. I'm happy. It's a happy ending. Oh, I love how she she scribbled out all of the I hate you and I love you. Oh, I'm so happy. The lesbians are together. 
Who's at the door? Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Uh, he actually answered the door as well. <laughs> oh, Sam, I, I, I've been fucking screaming at so much stupid shit. Oh, Josh and Dina's relationship is cute. Oh, who's on the phone? I'm scared to fuck. Huh? So don't call here. They're still alive. See, Burnham. You called me. Wanted to know how I survived the Camp Nightwing massacre. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, thanks for your prompt reply. No. It's not over. Sam? It's never over. Sam's getting possessed. I'm not having that. We stopped it. Who? I'll come for you. Sam. Sam's possessed. Don't kill her. Sam. It's just... No. What the fuck sort of fucking shit is this? No. They were just about to be happy, fuck you! The brother as well! Is the brother gonna die? Everybody, fuck off! She can't die, man! Who's the queen? He was funny and brave. She was smart and kind. Fearless. Oh my god, your sister's just been murdered! Oh, she's getting murdered! She just Dina survive, please! Oh, come on, Josh! Your sister needs your help! <gasps> Who is that? Dina or Sam? Dina, what happened to Sam? Oh, she tied her up. We need an ambulance for Dina ASAP. That is a bad wound. <laughs> to be continued, but we go back in time. I swear, I need more of this future. Oh shit, there's more. Summer 1978, the first day of camp. And a week later, my sister was dead. Oh, so this is the next one. Next one looks just as scary. Whoa, I swear my mind's blown. Like, I'm glad that the lesbians are okay, or they're not okay. One of them had a fatal stab wound. The other one is wrapped with a telephone wire and possessed. But, I mean, that's just general being queer, in it? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I... I really got emotionally invested in all of them and the fact that they died pissed me off even though I know I should expect it because it's a horror. The nice drug dealer as well, like, there's so much. So the the sheriff, he knows more and there's something to do with his family. He's from the good family and that good family are more involved. I know they are. I think they are anyway. And he went and left a note, you know, saying it's happening again. Maybe to the C. Burnham person who who was saying about the thing at the end. So, like, there's this Sarah who is a witch from, like, 1666. And she has been cursing the whole town of Shadyville since. It seems like at least, like, every 10 years there's a new murderer. Like, a, there's a new person that gets possessed and then goes on a on a killing spree. And then she... But then the, fa the fact that she can keep bringing them back and back. And if you touch her bones, then she's coming after you. Like, surely all of these people haven't touched her bones. So why does she go after the others? It's going to be fun to learn that. I have... To, it was a really good film, though, actually, like... 
the way it was shot i said it a few times and i i do like it it had some comedy relief in it like some light moments and like dark comedy and dark humor and all the friendships were really sweet all of the characters were really good people well you know the five main ones even though obviously they're all flawed in their own ways couldn't just let it be a happy ending could you <laughs> Especially because I know the next ones go back in time. So do we ever even get to see anything like after this day? It's so interesting. There's so much to think about. There's so many moving parts and because it's throughout time as well is really cool. And the next one looks good. The 78 when they're at summer camp. Also, I recognise the actress in the next one. The ginger haired one. I don't know if she was in Stranger Things or Why None Her Paw. She's been in something that I've seen. I actually can't wait. Which is weird for me. You know, I feel like the creators, um, like, because I laughed at Peter being murdered, I feel like I deserved to cry when the drug dealer one was being murdered. I shouldn't laugh at other people's pain if I don't want it myself. Still though, Peter can fuck off. I don't feel bad, it's just... Honestly though, if every 10 years there was a massacre in my town, I just would not live there. I know like people don't really have lots of options when it comes to housing and like socioeconomics and jobs and where they grow up and all of that. But seriously, I just would not. I, if I was a child, I would I would make my parents or I'd run away. And if I was an adult, I definitely would not be moving to that town. And if I already lived there, I'd be moving out. It's like, without fail, there's always a massacre in this town. <laughs> what the fuck? I actually like as well the how it's tied into witches. Oh, it's a woman scorned. Nah, bitch, she was probably brutalised. I'm actually excited to find out why Sarah's doing all of this. If it is Sarah, like if we understand correctly from this movie. I feel so messed up by that movie. Like, I can't even think, you know, my brain's just not working. I'm shocked and devastated and excited, weirdly. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm gonna go. Please subscribe. So you know when the next one's out. It should be next week. And like I said in the beginning, I will be doing Loki soon. Have a good week in the meantime. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!